Kathleen Battle? Yes, indeed. I just, I mean, I, I just like listening to, to, to her, the type of expression that she sings with, you know, as an instrumentalist. We always are trying to get to that kind of clarity that the vocalists have. It's like in the early jazz musicians, when they played trumpets and saxophones and stuff, they would try to sound like the, the singers in the churches or the blues singers. And then when the instrumentalists get to a certain level of expression, then the vocalists imitate them. Well, see, we aren't at that point yet. <laughs> So I'm, I'm really, I really want to just get, get a chance to stand close to her so I can hear the way she's phrasing and stuff and I can get, a, get, get close to it and be able to play with a, with a certain level of expression that will be compatible with what she's doing because she's, she's on such a high level that uh, you know, I've been waiting for years to recall with her. So I got to get down to it. So are we are we rehearsing today or no? Yeah, want to? Well, I need I mean, to just or, or I need to get my intonation to... together. Okay, yeah, let's just. Work you know, it I'm out. nervous. I gotta get now. mine together too. I am uh, too. I'm nervous because I have to stand up here underneath your sound. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to really get my intonation together so we can work out some things also and just know how you, like how you want, want it played. <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna play the Freddie Harry? Oh, that mercy. Tell me what you're hearing immediately, because I, I have like a long, the, the next two days are very important for me to adjust. Yeah. To, to adjust my whole sound and conception, because it won't get better that quickly. Yeah. Maybe we should do uh, the handle that you know what you want, because I don't think we know what we want here yet. You know, so you can't echo something that's not there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it's good for me too, just to hear with the piano and it, for the intonation, because the, the, right. This instrument is hard to play in tune. And I'll be finding my voice in something more familiar faster. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Should we do that? Yes. So which one are we going to do? What do you want to do? Do you want to do uh, Let the Bright Seraphim? Yes. Yeah. Okay.
Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, I'm saying, just do say, bo do bo do be do bo do bo do bo do bo do bo do bo It's a little hipper than, than the way we were gonna do it this way, because it, what happens is that it makes the apex of the phrase comes comes at the end, right at the end. Right. So it, it's like an explosion to the end, and plus the trill has a lot more intensity. Spontaneous albums. <laughs> Delinquent. Three and the four and the. chance of doing that after playing all those other notes is about 10%. Hey, we'll, we'll record every two bars. This cantata in 1984. That's the first time I ever played classical music live. I mean, seriously. Was it really? I'm serious. Oh, wow. I'm <laughs> I was proud nervous. to have been there. I was so nervous. Well, I said, Lord, just let me uh, make it. Oh, really? <laughs> it didn't sound love. Where was this? You remember that You were cool then. Yeah, I remember it. <laughs> I was fake. At Tully? That's right. And you were doing anything but fake. I was there. I was like, yeah, I'm cool. But I really was like, <laughs> you, you were 15 years old? 
Oh, no. I'm, I'm talking about, like, seriously, something professional. I had played a lot, you know, concerts, but I mean, I had been playing jazz for a long time. I stay in the drawing board when I have to deal with you. <laughs> you know, I had a perfect mouthpiece for this home. I gave it to somebody, because I, I thought I wasn't ever playing it again, you know? I mean, after I finished, I said, I'm not playing all classical music. I give this mouthpiece away. <laughs> but I can record with my baby. I have to be ready. <laughs> so, you know. Let's try some Scarlatti now. Feeling of the music more, you know. I was, I was trying to think of that last night. Like you gotta have something specific in mind when you, when, you know, when you playing some music, you have something specific in mind in terms of well, what kind of. I think it's very specific for the I die my treasure. Well, I mean, even even I'm not talking about that 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 specific. I mean, I'm not talking about the, the emotion of the text. I'm talking about the emotion of, of the music itself. Like, what kind of feeling are we gonna try to play with? Kathy, what do you think about that time? Well, I'm thinking of two measure phrases, so it might even be a little quicker than that. But okay. I think I, when I first started out, I said. I feel a lot of feeling in that. <laughs> That's Kathleen Battle. She's from the country. <laughs> you know, she grew up eating the grits in the cornbread. I mean, she she knows about that, man. You know, you gotta go out to dinner with our family. You know, you, then, you, then you find out what else. Wait, 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 wait. It's the talk about pass me the cornbread. <laughs> Thank you. 
is Tom Ziska from Channel 3 down in Huntington. How do you do? <laughs> Welcome back Pleasure to Portsmouth. Pleasure meeting you. Thank Pleasure you. meeting you. Jack McCracken, we met a couple of months ago when the mayor was giving you another certificate. Ah, yes. <laughs> Have you ever gotten used to the fact that your daughter's an internationally known opera star? No. <laughs> How does it feel to have her home? That's great. <laughs> I was surprised she came down here. My mother got out, just got out of the hospital about four, uh, three weeks ago. And uh, so we're just happy that she's feeling a little more, um, a little stronger these days. Yeah. Yeah. Kathleen Battle, soprano superstar, comes home. It's a big event. Mm-hmm. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, giving us red and beige. And Sonny's got yellow on. Oh! <laughs> Hello. Happy Good Easter. Uh-oh! Young Hills Ripley. Let me go. <laughs> you can have a crowd on Easter. Uh, now, when we sit, it might be filled up. Today is Easter, so I like to get there on time today. The sermon last, last time was, it's your choice. And he said, it's your choice. If you come late to church, it's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's your choice whether you come to church at all or not. I was back to saying amen, amen. And then he said, it's your choice if you come in late. <laughs> I thought you'd gone there to get ready to go to church. Oh, you probably do put on a jacket and that skirt you got on and some shoes. Kathy's probably gonna sing. And you know, she might even sing, I trust in God. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, you're not gonna go? That chicken smells good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My mom took the lid off of the uh, chicken because it was um, going over a little bit or something. Yeah. So. Got my camera. Well, we'll see. I guess Sharon will be here by the time we get back. See you later.
know you are, babe. I miss you so much. But I know you're grown up. I just want you all to help me tell this story about Marion, okay? Uh, that we all grew up together. And Marion was my first. Um... When you sang in the choir, I played. I yes. had the privilege of playing for her. Yes. But also when I made my the beginnings of my solo career, right? Right. Uh -huh. From when I was this tall, maybe? Oh. That tall? Well, we would go around, and Marion was, it was like Marion Parker and Kathleen Battle. Marion played the <laughs> piano, <laughs> and we played, we um, performed it not only at this church, but other churches, and civic, all through the community. Yeah, you know, all through the community, civic functions, and so forth and so on. And I would go and have my rehearsals at Marion's house. And so Marion did the first accompanying, you know, and um, teaching me these songs, like How Great Thou Art, The Lord's Prayer. So Mary is very special in my life. Okay. She's very special and, in mine also. Yeah. And this is my sister who um, gave me the inspiration to sing because she sang in this very choir loft, right. soloing. And, um, and Leela sang as well. But Carol, of all of the members of our family, was the first one to um, be thought of as possible, potentially, a singer. Washington, as in Booker T. Washington. And uh, this was the um, all black grade school that was at one point um, first through sixth grade. And so this was my, as well as all my brother. It's formed a, a large part in who we all are. We have very strong um, role models in our teachers. And it was a strong kind of community based support and that the church formed one uh, community center. And then I would say the school as well. I mean, anything you did, always go back to your parents because these teachers were like, they all lived in your neighborhood anyway, so you couldn't get away with anything. And they challenged you and they expected the best from you. They demanded it. They were tough. And it was a great school. It wasn't really segregated, but it was, it was all black. <laughs> Because we spent so many, so much of our time in the summer at Dreamland Pool, that's where we're going to have it. The reunion. What reunion? Her class reunion. Uh -huh. You want to do that? At Dreamland Pool. Mine didn't say that. Yeah, the first paragraph of the letter invited me to whatever number of reunion, because I don't want to mention that, said that as teenagers, we had so much fun or spent so much of our life at Dreamland Pool, we thought that this reunion, well, we should spend it that evening at Dreamland Pool. But we didn't, we couldn't go to Dreamland Pool then. And I'm not gonna go to Dreamland Pool now. Why? Because blacks weren't allowed. Mm. I remember some friends uh, jumped in the pool one summer and uh, became a police issue. They were arrested for jumping mm. in the pool at Dreamland Pool. Mm. We didn't even know that we were underprivileged. We really didn't. We weren't I mean, all of our associates were in the same status that we were. And we were normal. Everybody else was abnormal. And for that reason, we grew up very close. Mm -hmm. Which make this, made us very privileged, not underprivileged. Right. That's a state mm -hmm. of rich and the things that really counted. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this drug business, mm -hmm. drinking, that. Those weren't even considerations when we were coming up. We weren't interested. We weren't missing anything. We didn't have cars. We walked where we went. Uh, we went to church. 
very strong belief in God. Yeah. What's up, the song we're doing that the Pops and Earl Hines did? I, I don't really remember that. Can we, let's go over that. Yeah, I play, I play over You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that one. Uh, 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 uh. My chops are so tired from doing that. Can, let, let's do it. Let's do it. Let me. I want to get the, at least the form now. Again. Yeah. Mm. Something else, we, we, we leave it out a certain form, man, structure the form. It's a, it's a progression that goes, don't, don't, bum, bum, ba dum, bum, 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 the lamp band, la bum, ba dum, la dum, ba dum, la ba dum, bum. You know, they go around chromatically. Really be with moaning all through it. Yeah, we go. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Jay. Yeah, I got one, but I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn how to do that without. Oh no, no, but see, I'm trying. Yeah, to I didn't know all these people was in it. Huh? That, that you can't hear oh, yet. that. Uh, we're gonna have to share it on that, man. We have to share it on that. One. Share, share, share the like, right? Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. You transcribe. I've heard that you transcribe. I never, I never transcribe like writing it down. It's more in terms of hearing it so much that you, you, that you know it. So in terms of like whether you transcribe some music or whether you, to me, shitting on your horn, that's just a given. If you say you want to be a musician, especially a professional musician, because it's so hard to get a job. I miss thousands of cats who want to play. Nobody can find work in classical music and in jazz. Everybody thinks it's just in jazz. You, you, in classical music, there's two trumpet openings a year, and 600 people go out for it, and one get it, two, two people get it. But when you go to those auditions, it's a certain level of technical proficiency. In it. And if you're not even serious enough just to get like basic stuff together on your own, like knowing all your skills and your cards, and shedding and getting your, your flexibility, being able to play in different registers, dealing with your tone. There's trumpet players studying classical music in every conservatory, every school all over the United States of America, and there ain't no job. So 
and then we'll do this. You can play on any of these if you want. You know? No, man, I mean, it's fine. It's the setup is fine. It's gonna play. And Brace, you, me and you will play. We just will trade the phrases off. We don't have to necessarily play a melody, you know? All right. We just will play like and just develop the ideas. That we you talking about Embraceable? Yeah, okay. So I'll play a phrase. Yeah, and cool. You play a phrase and I play a phrase. And it's, you know, you know not symmetrical or nothing. Mm -hmm. And the Majesty of the Blues, you can play wherever you hear a space to play at. I don't like the sound of that. Huh? Where am I here? Space to play. You grab it, man. You hear something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You hear it. You hear it. Me and Jason are going to play that. All right. But you can play on it too if you want. No, man. Right. Go ahead. Swing the Haven, just you play that with, Ellie, with Daddy, Jason, and Bill. And mm -hmm. Daddy play his solo. Twelve Zit, that's with me and you and Jason. All right. And the Blues are down. Everybody plays on it. Twelve Zit. Twelve zip. You remember that? Well, I know the song, but the notes escape me at the moment. I'll figure it out. We all know. Okay, you got a you got your own song. I'll give them to you. Nah, I just we need to play. We play it one time. I got it. How's yeah, that? but we might not get a chance to. We gonna play it right now. Oh. Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Very hard. Yeah. I cannot do that no more. It happened. It was brother. one day I was like, uh uh, I cannot sing solo. You notice know how your voice is cracking now? Oh man. It's okay, I man. I can't you do change. It. You still sing solos, it'll just be in a lower pitch. But I'll whistle them now. You know? I'll whistle them. I just whistle them. Because I'm getting big. I missed you. I missed you growing up. It's like, that's unbelievable. It's like you're not even my brother, you know what I mean? I missed you so much. I missed you. What did you all do? Baroque? All Baroque. All classical yeah. Baroque. There was a lot of Scarlatti, a lot of Bach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And some, um, oh, Predieri. Don't talk to me about Predieri. I never saw that piece before, and I think I don't want to see it again. After, that's it. We, ladies and gentlemen, are in for a rare jazz treat with no tricks. Indeed, we're about to witness an unprecedented jazz event with Ellis, Winton, Branford, and 13-year-old Jason Marcellus performing together on stage, believe it or not, for the first time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's all sit back and enjoy the music. Thank you very, very much. Thank you all very, very much for coming out and supporting these worthy causes tonight. First of all, I'd like to say happy Halloween. Y'all see I have all my orange and black. A fair and celebration of the forces that are out tonight. 
Hopefully some of that witchery and magic will translate onto the bandstand and some good swing. Um, I'm very honored to play with my father and also my brothers, even my little brother who's 13. He sounds like he's been practicing. We heard him today. Right now, a man of great dignity and nobility, Mr. Ellis Marcellus. We had a joke in our family, you know, because my mother, she would always say that she used to sing. So she would always go to the piano and do this terrible rendition of Embraceable You. And then we'd all start going, oh, no. <laughs> we'd know it's time for us to put our horns up because she's going to sing, Embrace Me. <laughs> so my brother Branford and myself and Mr. Bill and Herlin and my daddy, we're going to do and paying our respects to our mother who's not here tonight. George Gershwin, Brisbane, you. <laughs> Place that I can just, this is Bill Fielder, this is Stephen Epstein. Hi, how are you? Pleasure to meet you. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Man of dignity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, I'm sure. Hi. No. TF, what's that? Tom Frost. <laughs> it's Bill Fielder. Hi, how are you? We have a, we seem to have a pretty good sound on the uh, on the continuo. We just started adjusting some mics. So you want to, you want to practice or you want to? Yeah, I just need the one. But you know, that's something I'm, I'm noticing is the sound in here is really, really yeah. great, man. Right? Yeah. Well, we'll see. You know, we've been listening to the your other two records, so we'll we'll compare it as well to see what kind of sound you're getting in here. Winton, could you just stand out here? 
for just a second, and let's hear what it sounds like. Watch your step. Yeah. Let's see if that echo works in 17 when they say. I don't think it's too bright. You don't think so? I think it has a nice body, yeah. Okay. Now you don't have to work somewhere. So I'm just going to go practice with Prof. Okay, you have a place to practice? I don't know, dude. Do, do, that place? Let's find out, yeah. I'm not too familiar with the different rooms here. Let's find out. Okay. Take a big breath. To get you, try to bug you out like this. See, if you do that, you won't get any compression. Certain, Same like, thing. certain type of total relaxation from the yeah. whole bottom to the top. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You have, uh, you have some mouthwash in your mouth, right? When you do this, you put some mouthwash in and you say, you say what? You say, that have, you haven't pushed anywhere on your body to do that. That's your, this is your support. Like that. A wind sound. You have a sheet over there? Let me show you something. Let me just give you an experiment here. I'm gonna blow some air, but I'm gonna I'm gonna compress it. Watch and see what happens here. Paper won't even move. So then what's gonna happen? But if I do this, that's what I want. Understand. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand for being able to do it. That's another story. That's what we have to work on.
your, your F sharps are not matching. You don't have to be perfect. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't have to come right out on one or two. You tell me how I'm going to shape you, these things. You, 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 you changed text here too soon. That's the reason you got in trouble. You changed That's text. That's the first time. You don't have to okay. point that out to me. That's well, not I'm, I'm the sorry, issue. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the larger picture. How do I do this? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not vibrating. It's like... It sounds to me like you're holding back. Well, you have to. In, yeah. Up there around A and B. You can't, like, scream up there. It's just a... It's not a nice tessitura to sing in. I mean, it's not an easy one, let's put it that way. Yeah. yeah. And they're long phrases, yeah. you know, at this tempo yeah. or even a faster tempo, they're yeah. still difficult. I just have to remember not to hold those notes, just to let them live, and, you know, huh? Yeah. <sighs> okay, the 22, everybody? That's complete take four. Yeah. Was that, was One that of the yeah. Take? And then we went back and did it over. Cut it all up, put it together. It's great. <laughs> Technology hasn't gotten that far. How do you like your sound? Did you? Listen yeah, well, I mean, it's all right. You know, it still has that 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 uh that hall kind of sound, but uh, it'd be cool. The hall? Well, we can always add more more of the main mic. I think we, you're okay. We, we, we can we give can, it a bigger sound. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. The elements are there. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'd like yeah. to maybe just yeah. the spirit. That's what I'm listening for. We. I wish I could actually be closer to you. Yes, I. We yeah. would benefit each, each other. I, I, think. I, know I just think that if I were closer to wind, then I would catch his spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and nice I mean, person. you know, you just hear that boom. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's done that about fifty times today. That's his method of teaching. Yeah. Just through constant repetition. Yeah. So you don't need the trumpet to do those exercises. No. No, if you get this, though, you don't want this. That's compression. <laughs> so you got to get the sound of wind. Yes, that's compression. Sound of wind. straight on in. Jubilant. 
Aren't you happy? Mm -hmm. You ought to be ecstatic. <laughs> place or two that you ought to because you got just as much time. You ought to yop, yop, you ought to breathe yeah. there. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, I do. I do take off. I don't know. I hear it. He didn't make all the sets staccato mm -hmm. so then you don't feel, because it's yop, said. No, yop, <laughs> said. So you've got to think right away because you can hardly wait. You are so impatient to come in to say it that you almost anticipate the orchestra. And it's just jubilation, exultation. He yops it, yops it, God in Ireland. like you're one seraph up there with all those angels with those, you know, with the... Uh... I don't sound happy. That, go, that no. goes for all of us. I think you're absolutely right. That is... Yeah. Right? Oh, if you started two beats before, it would help if we get you shake your head and go yowks of God and then look for God. That's right. I mean, because I, I have to look for God, too. When we're in New York City, you might not find him for you a don't long have time. To look for, you don't have to look for him. He's here and you see him. Praise him.